Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hemicraft Season 4 with me, Fall Symmetry, and today we're over here by the map of our base. Look at this thing right here. Oh, I don't think this is going to be the best view. That is just going to be my face right there. But if we take a step back, here we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty incredible? I think that looks pretty amazing. Um, weird actually though, I've actually just realised these bits are like blue glass. Yeah, they turn up as invisible on there. Which, I guess, makes sense. This is the one that has the pathway on it. And it is facing that way, which is a bit weird. I might turn this around at some point so that it faces up or down or something like that, perhaps. Um, but yes, I made this in a live stream. And yeah, I decided I wanted a massive wall with my base on it. And uh, so I decided to get quite a lot of area covered. I probably will extend this further at some point, but I think for now this looks okay. Uh, but when, when we get like a big computer screen installed down below in my office or something, we'll have this on the wall and I think it looks pretty amazing. We'll leave it here temporarily. Some people asked if it was temporary. Of course this is temporary. Guys, this is me. This is me we're talking about. I like to think that I wouldn't leave something like just randomly placed there with Andesite, which is the only block I had on me at the time, I think. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, also, we decided to, to do this too, which... Um, is very exciting. <laughs> so the base gets smaller and smaller. You can zoom out maps, and then this is as small as it goes, and you can see I gave up on that one. This one took a while to, to do, so maybe I'll do that one. Perhaps if you guys decide that you maybe you want to see me fill this in um, in a video, uh, we could do perhaps a Q&A episode of Hermitcraft. I've been thinking about it for a long while, and I think this could be quite the appropriate thing to do if I was flying around just filling in a map. I don't know, you'd have to let me know what you think about that. Perhaps I would do something else as well, perhaps, because that might be either too quick for that video or perhaps too slow, who even knows. Anyway, this place is looking amazing. I'm, I'm very, very happy with these um, walkways. I've been obviously playing around on here, building some other stuff, and yeah, this is how they look now. They looked a bit different when I did the video. I think there are a couple things that I did wrong. I did accidentally make two, I think, this way around. I made, I made this one here, like that one, and it came from over there, and I was like, how did I accidentally make a whole pathway wrong? But apparently I did. So yeah, these all attach to different parts of the base and crossover and everything. This here I'm not so sure about. I'm either going to do this here, or I think on the other side I did some sort of like idea about using it as a balcony. So this wouldn't actually connect to any floors as such. It would just more likely be just like a little balcony area. doesn't look very great right now. We'd have to do something with it. I think, but it might be too close to the tank as well, so perhaps not. I, I guess I'm open for suggestions on this one, but I do really, really like it here. I definitely think we do need the fourth uh, one. But anyway, you will notice if you look through that window there that I've also been working very very hard on uh, on this thing. We should probably go over this side since this side is more complete. We finished off a big tank. So the other one over there, this was what we were going to do um, with it, and I'm probably going to have to sleep. So I'm probably going to have to go sleep because Azuma wants someone to, I guess, and I'm pretty close to my bed. Um, yeah, so I did that, and that's what we're hopefully possibly going to work on today, although I don't actually have any quartz, so possibly not, because I don't really fancy doing it in video. So today, hopefully, we're going to come up with an idea where we're not using quartz. This is not the side with my bed in it. Anyway, let me quickly go to sleep, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second when hopefully it's nice and bright and daytime and stuff like that. So I sleep. And it starts raining. Just my luck. But anyway, I haven't realised that this is literally all the quartz we have. So I thought, you know what? I haven't been to the shopping district to check out the quartz shop in a while. I don't believe it will be full. I think it will most likely be empty. But it seems silly to like just completely think and assume that it won't have any quartz left in it. So we are actually going to head over there right now. I'm going to see if any quartz left over at my main base as well, over at the jellyfish. And uh, hopefully there is some, uh, otherwise we might have to work on a different project than I had in mind. But yeah, I definitely do not have enough time and enough patience for quartz mining today. But I'll probably do that this evening in my live stream instead because that's always fun. Uh, doing a nice bit of Q&A with, uh, with some quartz mining. And um, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys when I get back from... Wherever it is I'm heading. <laughs> We're at the court shop. Let's see. There is none in there. None in there. None in there. None in there. Well, 
guess it would have been a bit expensive anyway. Did that say three? Did that say three diamonds a stack? That makes 16 blocks, right? So three diamonds for, for 16 blocks? What? What now? I'm pretty sure Biffa didn't leave any in here. I will check, though. Where's his quartz? Coming soon, coming soon. Oh my god, Biffa, I'm looking forward to these coming soon. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sarcasm. Ooh! Hello. Hello there, Biffa. Biffa? Biffa? I don't have any diamonds, Biffa. <laughs> Dang it, how did I? I've got diamonds, guys. They better not all be over at the main base. If they're over there and not the jellyfish, I'm going to cry. But anyway, there's some quartz, guys. We might be saved, but I'm pretty sure it's still not enough for what we need. So, yeah, definitely need to do some more mining. But at least that'll give us a bit of a head start. Oh, also, while I'm here, the amount of comments I keep getting about the Wanted game, I have signed up. I did put my head in one of these, but seeing as though it's a bit unfair since only myself and Scar have heads in the thing, I took mine out because I didn't really want to just be like, oh, if I come here and Scar's lit up, like, no one else has the opportunity to be lit up. So, so yeah, so I put my head in there. Cub fan and, you, yeah, you guys. You guys need to... Wait, that's the wrong book. <laughs> you guys need to go to... It's Girl and Cub Fan and tell them to put their flipping heads in here. And also tell the others to put the name in there as well because people keep moaning at me and going, oh my god, full sign up for the one. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm in there. <laughs> head and all. But um, yeah, I just haven't. It seems silly to put my head in there if I'm the only one that's possibly going to get killed out of Iskull and Cub Fan. So um, yeah. All I could find was 12 diamonds. I'm going to go over there, buy out all the diamonds I could buy, and then I think fill the rest up with ink sacks, and then have them as, like, IOUs. Ink sacks, since, you know, I've got the ink shop. He'll know it's me, but I'm pretty sure he won't be on. Whoa, holy! Oh my god, that that might be split. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Scar, the hell, that stop showing me up! <laughs> I'm trying to make something cool, and then you go and ruin it. Dang it, man! Stop building so good. Come on now, making us all look bad. <laughs> but no, seriously... Oh, wowza, that was, that was impressive and I didn't even go look at it properly. That's what I'm going to go do in a moment when I cut this clip. I'm literally going to go explore scars, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we can buy one, no, let's do this. One, two, two, three, four, I can buy four stacks, legit, and then the rest I'm going to put ink sacks in. And yeah, so, sorry Biffa, I will be back to pay, legit. But I think you've got enough diamonds. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So today's plan was firstly going to be to tidy up this area here because it looks pretty messy. But I don't think that's going to be super riveting content. I think I'm just going to be basically be uh, boxing in the stairs and uh, sorting out whatever's going on here and stuff like that. So we'll leave that for now. But seeing as though I kind of sort of started coming up with an idea with this in the stream, um, I thought I might as well kind of like not necessarily finish off the idea because I'm not sure where it's going to go and you guys might have better ideas with it but what I'm going to do is we're not going to finish building this whole bottom part here because I think that's going to take a lot of time and more quartz than I probably have but what I'm going to do though is uh sort of build the framework for it so this one here goes up one two three four five six like so and then it comes across which I failed at doing that and then we'll build up this side as well and the idea here is that we want two doorways into this section it's going to basically look the same as up there but with doorways because I want to be able to head through and I want this to still feel very open without actually putting like I really want to not put walls into this build if that makes sense I don't want to separate these things into like rooms you know um, so I think what I'm going to do is stick with keeping doorways open and, and things like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do there. And I really, really want to, with this room, sort of do a bit of a, a control room kind of deal. So I want to build up the walls. They, they all need to be the same, I think, size as previous. And that's the, where the kind of the top part is going to be. Oh, I don't actually have those on me. So it's going to look like that. And now I want like a control table possibly wall it could actually i don't know if i should put like a big wall there of like just the ocean like since we're doing a lot of water in this space i feel like we need to i guess watch the ocean <laughs> if you get me we need to kind of you know track the water and 
and stuff like that. And I feel like we've got a lot of land on that map, but there's a lot of ocean as well. Like, I'm pretty sure it goes a lot that way. So it'd be really nice if... I don't think I can get the whole coast in, in like, this section. But a lot of water, and possibly even this base, maybe in the bottom left hand, right hand corner. That could be cool. So maybe we'll have a big map wall there of just ocean. Um, we could even just use reuse some over and over again if they work together. And I think that might work nicely there. We need, like, a control table... I really want an item elevator, like, you know, the, uh, the glass item elevator, so I want to use those somehow. And I've, I've, I've found the tutorial that Iskel made of one, and it's so, so simple. I just, I want to use them as much as I can in this space. And also saying that, I also want to use other things that could, like, because the item elevator with glass is very futuristic, right? I want to find some more redstone-y things that have tutorials, um... That I can build. So if you guys know of anything, don't send me a link because the links get blocked on YouTube comments. But tell me like of other redstone things that could be quite easily, nicely used in like a futuristic design kind of way. Because obviously, you know, a lot of what I think of is design. Like the glass elevator, it's not necessarily practical, it, although a lot of people use it. Uh, it is very, very pretty though. Um, so yeah, that is definitely something I'm thinking about. Anyway, saying that, I need to, I think, dig this floor down... One more. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't really want a cave right now. I'm quite good. But I think we're going to put the floor here. And actually, oh, you know what? What's even better than that? The main floor will go there and then we'll start a staircase. And this bit will be even further down. Because I want this to be like a bowl of glass. Which I'm also going to do now. <laughs> if I've got enough glass, that is. I think I'm running out of materials just generally across the board right now. Not very helpful. So, I haven't done this in a while, but we are on a creative world. This is my one for Hermitcraft, yet nothing seems to be nearby. I don't know what direction things are in. I went to the nether and then came back through the nether. What coordinates are we at? Hmm, seems fishy to me. Doesn't seem like it quite worked. But, ideas have been forming. Ideas have been forming, and this is looking spectacular. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Simple, yet effective is kind of what I'm going for here. So this is kind of, let's say, the floor. This is the floor, this is the doorway that we built, and the idea is you walk in, and on your left or right, or whichever way you come in for it to it, there will be the map wall with the ocean, uh, that will have a sea lantern behind it so that we can actually see stuff. Ignore the sign, because I just wanted to see what type looked like, like on there. Uh, or text even, and um, yeah, so that the idea for this is that you can put something in here, it'll go all the way down, I haven't actually made this thing properly, so I'm guessing it works, it'll come back through the dropper, um, and then it'll be brought back up here, so it, it basically checks it, it goes through a system, comes back up the item elevator, which will be taller, etc, I was making it go, I was going to make it go up there, but I think it's not going to look good if the hoppers are in the air, and I can't make it any higher than that, Oh, so that's odd. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, so the idea is it goes back through and comes back out here. So that is what that glassing in the floor there is. We'll work on the redstone another time. I can't be fussed with redstone today. I haven't got the patience. Uh, so yeah, obviously like, you know, buttons and things. A little bit a little bit of planting. A little bit of plants. You know, I didn't want to go too, too, too much with the uh, adding leaves everywhere and stuff like that and trees all the time. But want to, you know, brighten up the place a little bit. So we'll add like flower pots to this possibly and things like that. But... Generally, it's all going to be half slabbed anyway, so things aren't going to look super great because, you know, half slabs are quite hard to build with. So we've got lighting in here, and it looks really great at night time, so let's get on with it. Okay, things should be looking <laughs> good. I was just about to say, that's not the right one. Down here is the right one. Here we go. Perfect. So there we are. Oh, make sure nothing spawned in here. I did get blown up by a creeper earlier, like quite literally, just because of this area here. Hadn't lit up the areas up there kind of where you see the light now um so yeah it was a bit it was a bit on the dark side but anyway we should bring some light to this by putting the sea lanterns down because i want it to be very very bright i want things to be bright in certain rooms but also very very dark in other rooms which is why i'm going with a half step oh no that's not where that needs to go although we do need one in the wall so let's put one right there that will do that should light these up enough did i lose that one is it still down there Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, you can tell with uh, dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting is actually helpful for multiple reasons. You can actually see if you've left any lighting anywhere because it lights up the area. Anyway, we need some more of these guys right here. We need, I think, one there and there. And then one there and there. And then I think we need one here, possibly there also. 
I think that's how I did it. Let me check. No, I think it needs to actually go down one. Yeah, because then it meets up with the other one. <laughs> Be a bit weird otherwise. No, wait. Would it? Wait, what? How have I... Oh, yeah, that. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it wrong, guys. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, False is doing things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no one's surprised by that fact at all, are they? Yeah, so these, we are using the top of a half sad, but because we have lighting nearby, we should be okay. And if not, we can tweak the lighting and move it move it to a better spot. So that should be okay. That's block light nine. This is... I keep saying seven and stuff, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, no, we should we should be okay, but I'll keep an eye on this place. I won't trust it straight away, don't worry. And then I think we want to put the map about here, and I think I'm going to go with this size map here. I was really kind of thinking it would look really great if I went right up to the top to about there, so another one of those on top I think would look fantastic, but I think I'm going to leave the item frames as that. If I find that pretty easy to do, and I like the area, and if I go higher, it, you know, if I... If it looks really good, like I really would like to put the this base here and then have it pointed upwards and then the rest just be ocean. <laughs> like out that way where the ocean just continues. I'm not sure for how far. I should really have like maybe gone for a trip. But anyway, I'm going to signify where the, uh, the hopper thing is going to be. It's there. Although I think maybe just putting it like that might be better. Or maybe even at the front here so that then... Yeah, that's better, isn't it, if I do that? So that's where you would chuck stuff in. We would probably put, like, a little sign here saying, you know, something about chucking something in to double-check it. Um, and what else am I missing? I'm pretty sure I'm missing other things, like that, for example. And, oh yeah, and then, of course, the item elevator in the middle. What are we doing? There we go. So the item elevator should go about there... And I think we'll just dig it down. What level are we at right now? Level 29. So we can't go down super far. But again, what I'm going to do is just build something that signifies what it's going to look like. Because it won't actually be the final thing. Because I, I don't, it seems silly to me to actually fiddle with the redstone on camera. When I sh could much easily... I could, do, I could do it much easier and quicker off camera without having to worry about recording every five seconds. But anyway, we'll probably put it down here. Like so... Like a there, we'll go back up, where did we end up? I don't know, we're somewhere over here. <laughs> We've still got gaps in the uh, in the quartz. But yeah, I'm actually really happy that we had just about enough quartz for this project. What I'm also going to do while I'm here is we're going to make some sort of window out here. Now, this is going to be half sad all the way around. So I think if we just get rid of these bits, we should be able to tell whereabouts to put the window. So we don't want to put it down too high, don't want to put it too low. I think, in fact, we could probably start it about here. I think if we're going to be on a half slab, so let's put that there. Put half slab there. Put half slab there. We can kind of see in. Yeah, and that gives us a good view, I think. Although it'd be really nice to see the map, so maybe we'll do the opposite. And we'll put them there. Get rid of that one. Put them there. It doesn't really matter, because they're not going to be spawnable. And there we go, you'll be able to see the map. But you won't be able to see everything else, so... I don't know, it'll, it'll work, it'll be nice, a nice touch of colour through the uh, sort of window thing. And you can also probably see through here, which is probably one of my very favourite views at the moment, this view. Being able to see all of those guys, and I think, do we go all the way to the top with it? Let's see what that looks like from inside, it might be a bit overkill. Ah, looks alright from here, and um, yeah, we'll get to finishing this thing off, I think, another time properly, because it's just going to take forever. But I think that this is a really, really nice idea. So, so, so glad that you guys voted, I think, I believe, at least last time I checked, it was for this length of tank. I mean, I've done it now, anyway, it wouldn't really matter, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for voting. We've done a lot of polls recently, and you guys have been crazy, crazy awesome on those. I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Let me know down below if you have. I would like to do more polls in the future, maybe nearly every episode, if I've got a, you know, a big enough project to work on. And, um, yeah, I think we'll actually put some glass here to signify this, uh this thing. And even, I'm tempted to actually just leave it like that, so that I think the item should pop up on top. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, because it'd be nice to be able to put it in there, it checks it in the system, then you can come over here and pick your item back up again. Hmm, I think that'll work. Sweet, okay, uh, I'm gonna add some more details, maybe add some iron blocks and try and finish up this top part at least. And maybe the, the bowl. And... 
I'll be back when it looks a little bit more finished. But still not quite finished because, yeah, I'm running out of quartz. This squid just made me absolutely jump out of my skin. So much so that I clicked the record button because I thought it was something creeping up on me. <laughs> that guy there. I was just at a shulker box and then I saw that! Oh, terrifying! Oh, that's the problem with uh, this kind of build, isn't it? In water, you get kind of creepy squids creeping on you. Especially when it starts lagging, they start flying through the base and it's like some weird UFO kind of thing going on. Oh, that's scary. Okay, okay. Not cool, squid. Not cool. There we go, look at that! Okay, I'm not going to fill it with water because I want to decide which one I actually want to fill with water, whether or not it's this one or the other. Um, and I want to see if there's any tweaks or any ideas that I come up with for inside the tank before I decide to chug water in it, because water's a bit of a pain to get rid of at the moment. I don't currently still have sponges. Wayne on Mumbo for that. Uh, I think he's nearly finished with them. I think he's going to drop them back at my jellyfish base when he's done. But yeah, I really like this. I think I want to add more detail like I did actually plan on doing. So like over here, for example, we shall have a little bit more kind of stair details. Actually, yeah, I've got to be careful. The ocean's this side. I don't think it's this low down. Oh, no, it is that low down. Oh, rip item frames. No, they're fine. <laughs> Apparently they're waterproof. Very helpful. Glad I did that before uh, putting any redstone in, though. <laughs> That's why you do that kind of stuff first. Yeah, that looks good, because then that... It'll, it'll feel like it's more framed when, when that's actually in there right now. It looks a bit weird currently. And, yeah, I think... Oh, you know what? I've actually still got buttons and levers and things on me. I do want to add things like this. Don't want to check that on the floor either, though. We should be able to add, like, there, there, there. No. Oh, these are half slabs. Ah. We put one there and there as well. And then... I did want to add some to the walls. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Just just a little something. A little something, thump something. Might swap them over, though. Uh, any ideas you guys come up with for this? Let me know. I think it's going to... Oh, yeah, it's going to look better when that, that top bit's dark. This is what I mean. I really wanted to work with lighting here. It's kind of half part of my experiment. Although, it, no, I don't think I'm too bad with lighting. And making it kind of look good with half slabs. But... Uh, the main challenge for me here was the whole, um, I think, futuristic theme thing. We'll leave that there for now. Looks, looks very, very dark on there, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. I was going to try and put it over here, but I think that's where the lever is, so... Hmm. I'll leave it for now. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave it. Um, yeah. So, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully I'll work on this floor a little bit, make it all that kind of... A level at least perhaps and yeah I need to start working out what's going on in areas like this which are just huge I need to either do more pods like this which actually really could be nice if I did another one over there I thought that you know what that area there below the staircase is both sides possibly could Okay, okay, I'm going to pitch an idea to you guys. This this will be like the little, maybe we'll build with like a little elevator here perhaps or something. Down to the bottom level. This is where all the stuff is going to be, okay? So we've got that over there, which is the tank. Uh, we're going to have one over there, which is the tank. Might have put some different stuff in it. Maybe do a different kind of test. Um, and then, because this one's going to be documenting the water around in the area. This one's going to do something else. Um, we can put water buckets into the chamber that will cycle through the item elevator. And then I think if I have that circle there, but also have one here. One here. Perhaps smaller ones. We could have one for storage, which is just like just full of chests up to the top. Uh, some with water and stuff like that. Also, saying that, I always forget this. I need to do that on a lot of areas. So we should get more lighting in here. So that will have windows all the way around. We're going to continue them because they... I've dug those ones out. Haven't dug these ones that are opposite each other though. I put the glass in, but not actually dug out the uh, the stone bricks. But very, very happy with this so far. I was kind of worried when I started this episode. I was like, oh god, I don't have anything super interesting to do. But then actually, I think this is super interesting. I think it's something not done before. I'm going to say, possibly... We'll see. We'll see where this takes us. I'm kind of excited. I hope you guys are too. Guys, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Any ideas for this uh, down below. And look at that tank right there. Isn't it glorious? I'm so, so happy. It's put a massive smile on my face. Hopefully it looks as good when it's filled with water. Because water causes issues. And uh, yeah, I've just noticed something I need to do.
some more staircase designs and stuff in the in the side of that tank. Dang it! Always something I forget. But that is it, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.